Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and in this video I want to show you how I set up my telescope with a smartphone filming the sun. Now I did a live stream, you might not have seen it but if you haven't I did a live stream. It was a video before this one, you might have to search in the live streams to see it. I actually live streamed the sun with all the sunspots. Absolutely amazing. It was a, a really good live stream as well. It went on for about 90 minutes and I was bringing the sunspot activity on the sun because there's so many sunspots on the sun at the moment and what I thought I'd do is I'd try a live stream and it was the first one I'd ever done on the sun. Now you might have seen my video where I live streamed the moonrise. Similar sort of video except on this video for the sun I had to use my smartphone on the telescope. I could connect a camera to it. So what I want to do in this video I want to show you how I set it up and some of the problems that I had getting the connections right and getting it to work. So I'll turn the camera around now and we'll have a look at what I've got and I'll tell you why some of the things weren't working, some of the cameras couldn't connect and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of, you can fall into so many problems when you're doing this sort of thing. Trying to connect things to telescopes is not that easy. You can run into all kinds of problems with adapters and all that sort of thing. So let's go and have a look and see what equipment I've got and why some of it wouldn't work. And there's a little hedgehog down there in my garden. How about that, folks? Yeah, you, you might have seen that at the end of the... Uh, I've got three of them. Three hedgehogs, that's one of three. And this is a telescope here. It's a Celestron Nexstar 6SE. And it's a go-to telescope with an alt azimuth mount. And you can see I've got my smartphone on there. I'll show you in a minute how I set it all up. This contraption on here is how I line up the sun. Can you see how it's got a crosshair there? It's a little bit off at the moment, folks. You line up that crosshair there with the circle and the sun will be in the middle of the viewfinder. It's supposed to be, yeah. So there you go. So let's have a little look over here. I've got this bench and I've got all my stuff out on this bench here. Now, I wanted to connect this camera here. That's my Nikon D850. I wanted to connect that to the scope. Now I can do because can you see I've got this adapter on here and that adapter has a one and a quarter inch tube on the end which means that that will go into the telescope just down the eyepiece. Can you see this eyepiece here? You see that eyepiece there? That eyepiece drops into a one and a quarter inch tube on the telescope. So you take the eyepiece off the telescope and you put the camera on and that tube slots straight in. Now, there's a slight problem with that. It's not like a major problem, but um, if we have a look at the telescope now, can you see how we've got a star diagonal? This is what you call a star diagonal. It's a 90 degree diagonal. So it moves the light train from coming straight out of the telescope up to the eyepiece there, can you see? Now, ideally, you do not want to have a diagonal between the camera and the telescope. You want the camera to see straight through. So that's just a, a minor problem. It, it's just something else to get in the way of the image. So, but even so, I could still connect it using that and it would be fine. But the problem I had, I couldn't use this camera for the live stream because I have to use a HDMI cable. And if you have a look at the HDMI connection here, that is not a normal HDMI. That is like a mini HDMI and I do not have a mini HDMI to full size HDMI. So I couldn't connect this camera, I couldn't do the live stream using this camera, really unfortunate. And this is what I want to try and do. I want to see if I can use this camera or what I could do is I could use this, I've got this Panasonic Lumix GH5 and this has got its own adapter on it. Can you see there? So I could have used this for the um, live stream. And if we have a look at the HDMI on the panel, it's on it. This is very interesting. Can you see how the HDMI connector is full size? Full size on Panasonic. They do not skimp on a small HDMI. That is a full HDMI out. Now, great. So I could have used the Panasonic. So why didn't I use the Panasonic? Well, it turns out that this tube here is I don't have anything for this tube to go into. I have no bits. I've got this box here with a load of bits in. When I bought the telescope, I'm, the old guy gave me all this stuff. There's a tube there. It doesn't fit into that. 
that that's a connector for my other camera I've got all this stuff here folks look at all this stuff here I've got eyepieces I have got nothing that that tube would go into so I could fit it onto the telescope so that was out so um, what I ended up doing was just uh, putting my smartphone on it yeah so what a nightmare folks all that stuff I've got all of these um, adapters um, I've got cables I've got like um, camera adapters and, and all that sort of thing and still couldn't attach any of my cameras to the telescope for the live feed. I mean, I could attach them to it and I could film and I could, I could do that sort of thing, but I couldn't do the live stream because I couldn't, I didn't have a HDMI lead uh, that would fit to my Nikon D850 because it has that smaller connection. So annoying. And I couldn't, and the Panasonic Lumix GH5 there has a full size HDMI, yet the T adapter, which is what you call the, the thing that you connect it to a telescope with, for some reason, I do not have anything for that T adapter to go into. I couldn't connect that. So it's an absolute nightmare for us. So anyway, let's go back over to the telescope and I'll show you how I set up the smartphone. Okay, so here we are. And uh, what I decided to do in the end was to live stream the, the video using just my smartphone here. And I've got it on the smartphone. I've actually done a, a smartphone holder. I've actually done a video about this. So you might want to look back at it. I'll do a link to it at the end of this video but my phone is here on the smartphone holder and the camera of the phone is just behind here I've got three cameras actually three separate cameras so you've got to make sure the right camera is looking down the eyepiece it's set up so that it looks down the eyepiece of the telescope because I've got like a normal eyepiece on there it's a 25 millimeter eyepiece and it's all connected here it's all tightened up here and uh, the way that I get the sun and if you look up here look hope you don't get blinded Look at that, there's the sun up there. I've got quite a lot of obstacles. We've even got a bit of cloud in the way at the moment. But I want to show you how I get the sun lined up. So it's not as easy as you think to line up the sun with the telescope. So can you see this contraption here, this, this uh, piece of wood? It's got a crosshair here and the sight. So that's lined up with the telescope. So when you move the telescope up and down left or right, can you see how that you need to get that cross there, obviously somewhere near the middle of that. And once you've done that, we look in the phone and can you see, can you see that? It's not perfect, it's a little slight, slightly off. Let's see if we can bring that in. Can you see that? Look at that, but oh, there you go, folks. We now have the sun on the screen of the smartphone. I can actually do a video of that. That looks amazing, folks. There's even a bit of cloud rolling across. I can see cloud rolling across. Wow, that looks amazing. So there you go. That's how I ended up doing a live stream. I used my phone connected to the telescope using the smartphone adapter. So as you can tell, it's not easy connecting a camera to a telescope and even me with all this experience I've been doing this now for about 14 years with telescopes and cameras and all that sort of thing and I know I haven't had a telescope for quite a while and I only bought this telescope it's the first telescope I've had for a few years but even with all the experience I've got and all the bits I've got I still couldn't find a way to set up this live stream or to connect a camera properly so I still need some more bits if I want to do it properly. Anyway, the live stream, the reason why I wanted to do the, the live stream using a dedicated camera was because the quality is much better. The bandwidth is better. It allows for a 1080p. I think it's 1080p. Normally live streams done through the phone are 720. They're a lower quality. So I'm going to set it up. I'm going to make sure I get the stuff so that I can do the live stream. I can live stream the sun. I can even live stream the moon using my camera through a computer and I think they'll look pretty awesome actually folks, yeah. So anyway, just a quick video for you to let you know my problems and to also let you know how I managed to get going. It, it went really well in the end. And if you did watch the live stream, thanks very much because it was a bit of a weird time. It was sort of like, what was it? Half past 11 or something on a Friday. So we managed to get it in the end. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and uh, don't forget to keep looking up.